So, uh, so yeah, I've been in Colorado for uh, last week, and a lot happened since I was gone in our uh, country's history. And I've got a lot like of texts from people and, and different feelings people were having around what's happening. I mean, just the election leading up to it, there was a lot of emotion and feelings around it. And um, what I want you guys to know is, whenever you come to the Shala, this is your sacred place. There's no religious affiliation here. Uh, we'll never be you know, studying just a particular religion or uh, practicing a particular religion. And at the same time, I want all of you to know that I've never brought politics into the Shala. It doesn't belong here, and um, I would never bring that in here. However, having said that, um, I do believe that it's an important part of our life that's part of our spiritual practice, because Everything is part of our spiritual practice. So what you believe in, what you stand for, is basically what we've been studying this semester is, um, is how do you show up in the world? So, uh, so this, some, this particular week I was planning on um, diving into chapter 11, which is starting to look at the, um, the eight limbs of Ashtanga. And I thought it was interesting, the title of chapter 11 is Living in the World. And I kind of feel like I talk about this all the time. It's what this semester was about. But uh, what's happening right now in our nation's history is, is about that. It's about living in the world. You know, and, um, and that's what our yoga practice is about. It's not so much about how great is your triangle pose. Uh, can you stretch all the way in Samakonasana? Who has the best back bends? Yoga practice is about how do you show up in the world? How do you show up for life? And I love that quote by Martin Luther King, which I'll butcher because I don't have it in front of me. But a true um, judgment of a man's character is not how he stands in times of ease and when things are great, basically, but a true man, uh, the judge of a man's character is how he stands in times of challenge and hardship. And um, so I think that it's important that our very first limb of the eight limbs of Ashtanga, the eight limbs you guys know are yamas, niyamas, asana, pranayama, pratyahara, dharana, dhyana. Yamas is the first one, and yamas is really um, about how we are in the world, like how we interact with the world, how we show up for life. Um, and so this, for me, was important because I was uh, in Colorado during the election and I was really excited to come back and be with my community and my people and um, to, to really, um, to really make this time in our history, but this time in our lives, uh, an important time for us as a community. So um, one of the things that I was pondering myself during this time is something that one of my spiritual teachers said to me a really long time ago, and it was a game changer for me. And I've really tried to, um, I really tried to use this as a practice in my life ever since. And she asked me this question. She said, can you be for something and against nothing? And, um, you know, I have been that person that uh, signs every petition and carries lots of signs and, you know, gets involved in everything. As you know, I try to get you guys involved in as much as possible as well, and I love to get involved in things that you believe in. Um, but that was a game changer for me because it really flopped everything around in my life that I was so against to ask myself the question, but really, Di, what are you for? You know? and. Um, and so this is a time for me when I've really said that. You know, even with our election, you don't vote for a person, you vote for the things you believe in, really. That's what it's about. So we wake up in the morning still tomorrow and the next day and the next day, we can still wake up for all those things that we believe in and stand strong in those things that, that we firmly believe in. I, I know myself is my mantra right now. I'm so clear about like, one thing that you guys all know that I involve you in is like, I really stand for the environment. I don't have to tell you guys what I'm against because I can always turn that around and tell you what I am for when it has to do with the monarch butterflies or there's some uh, rainforest in Mexico called the cloud of rainforest. I'm super excited about protecting these 10 miles of rainforest right now. And I know that I wake up in the morning and I wake up excited about that. I wake up excited about the possibility of making a difference and standing for something. So it was interesting the day before the conference, um, I was given this gift. Uh, well, you know what it was? It was this t-shirt. <laughs> And I love this t-shirt because it's super cool, right? It's like, 
piece. And it's a nice little graphic and everything. But what's really great about this t-shirt is that the man who made this t-shirt started a nonprofit organization called Fodata. Have you guys heard of it? FODADA is a nonprofit organization that a father created to support men being good dads. And this is his mission statement. I went to his website, and the front of his website, there's a picture of him with his two beautiful boys. And this is his mission statement. FODADA exists. Okay, I'll try not to cry. FODADA exists to celebrate, protect, and support great dads. How cool is that? He believes in being a good father so much that he wants to support other dads, like being good dads. So get this, the money that he raises from these cool t-shirts and stuff, he gives to fathers in the prison and has a program in the prisons to help men that are separated from their children be good dads. Now could you wake up in the morning and stand for that? It inspires me to think like any of us. I look in the room and I know all of your passions. I know your loves. You're all powerful people to think. During this time for us being Americans and our history, who we are, what we stand for is everything. You know, and it, it could be as simple as, you know, you guys buying a milkweed plant and supporting uh, the monarch butterflies um, not being endangered species. It could be starting t-shirts for being good dads. It's, it can be anything, you know? It's just about us waking up into possibility and really believing in something enough to um, stand up for it, you know? So um, what I'd like you guys to do now is to um, close your eyes. I'm gonna read something to you that was passed on to me by one of my favorite spiritual teachers, Lama Surya Das. And um, I love this so much. This is how it works. Now I'm gonna share this with you and I hope that you guys are gonna share this with your friends. I'm gonna use this for a 30 day meditation here at the Shala for us to um, just kind of reflect on what it is that we stand for and how we wanna show up for, for life right now. This is written by the elders of the um, Hopi Nation in Arizona. Let's remember, you have been telling people that this is the 11th hour. Now you must go back and tell people that this is the hour. And there are things that need to be considered. Where are you living? What are you doing? What are your relationships? Are you in right relation? Where is your water? Know your garden. It is time to speak your truth. Create your community, be good to yourself, and not look outside yourself for a leader. This could be a good time. There is a river flowing very fast. It is so great and fast that there are those who will be afraid. They will hold on to the shore. They will feel that they are being torn apart and they will suffer greatly. Know that the river has a destination. The elders say that we must let go of the shore push off into the middle of the river, keep our eyes open and hold our heads above the water. See who is in there with you and celebrate. At this time we are to take nothing personally, least of all ourselves. For the moment that we do, our spiritual growth comes to a halt. The time of the lone wolf is over. Gather yourselves. Banish the word struggle from your attitude and from your vocabulary. All that we do now must be done in a sacred manner and in celebration. We are the ones that we've been waiting for. We are the ones that we've been waiting for. So personally for me, and I hope for each one of you in this community, I really look forward to waking up tomorrow. I'm excited about tomorrow. I'm excited to wake up and step into all the things I believe in and all the things I stand for. Namaste.